Rob Pincus here. This is the seventh weekly update. We are just about perfectly halfway through with the Personal Defense Network Training Tour 2012, and I am just about right in the middle of the continental United States. We started down in Florida. The first classes were in southern Georgia. I made my way to Oklahoma. I'm just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma at U.S. Shooting Academy, right in the heart of America. U.S. Shooting Academy has some of the greatest dirt berms I've ever seen on any range. I always refer to them as the greatest dirt berms in America. But what's important to know about U.S. Shooting Academy is they also are under new management for the last six months or so. They are really making huge headway here and improving things and making things as best as they've ever been out here at the ranges. It's really cool. The ranges are in great shape. The staff is really up in spirits. There's people all over the place. There's people training down at the range down there over this past weekend while I was running a CFS course. It was incredibly busy. Today I'm doing an APH course. I was up there talking to the management. Things are really looking up at U.S. Shooting Academy, which is a great thing. This is a great facility and I like to see them doing well. The new pro shop is really coming along well as also. It actually looks better than it ever has since they've opened the doors. So good for them. Things are good here in Owasso, Oklahoma. Meanwhile, I've got my bag here. People ask me, oh, Rob, what's your everyday carry? What do you always have with you? What kind of equipment do you carry? Well, of course, because I'm traveling all the time, whether on a plane or in the PDN tour truck or you know, even over international travel when I'm dealing with things over in Europe or whatever else, it's hard to say, well, here's what my everyday carry is. And of course, most people, when you think of EDC, you talk about it on the internet or on the Facebook, in the forums, people are saying, you know, well, I've got you know my primary gun and three magazines and 16 flashlights and a knife and you know, this and that, backup gun, ankle holster, nunchucka, whatever it may be. And the reality is it's just not what I can do, not the way I move, not the places I go to, because I can't carry a gun every day. I don't dress the same every place I go. I do have to kind of have what is my everyday carry be? Well, here's some stuff I have with me every day. And I've answered this question before, you know, the kind of things I have with me every day, I've got my laptop, you know, I've got my iPad. I use that for navigation, instant access, answering emails, answering uh, questions on the social media, checking out the Personal Defense Network Facebook page. Um, I do all kinds of things right from this bag, from the truck, from the ranges, right? Obviously, I've got my cell phone with me too. I carry around a flip camera so I can do impromptu training videos real quick, or maybe I can videotape something for a student and show them something they need to see. Uh, what else do I have in here? Got uh, some range glasses. Got that, you know, range glasses, pens, you know, stuff for taking notes, whatever it may be, some extra batteries, some chargers, things like that, you know. But at the end of the day, we do need to make sure that we can take care of ourselves also. And uh, inside of this bag, which is set up with a nice uh, hook and loop setup, we can take this Ojai holster from Crossbreed, and of course we can get these for any different types of firearms, stick it right in there, close that up, and now when I'm in the vehicle, wherever I am, in the hotel room, whatever else, even if I'm not wearing a firearm, if I can legally do so, I can have this for close, quick access for a defensive firearm. In this case, I'm carrying my Ruger LCP with the laser light side mount laser. Um, this is a great addition. These LCPs have been very, very popular. Of course, we had someone uh, early, uh, if you watched the, all the weekly updates early in the uh, season, we had uh, someone actually come through a class with an LCP. Now that's pretty rare because we know a lot of these have been sold, but we don't see them show up at classes all that often. Um, I highly recommend having a laser as a tertiary aiming device. Right? Primary aiming is kinesthetic, secondary aiming is going to be your sights, but the sights on something like this really aren't that usable under a lot of conditions. Having something like the laser light side mount laser as a tertiary aiming device gives you in that low contrast situation, that point of aim, also in an extreme close quarters situation where you don't want to extend the gun because it might get hit or taken, we can stay in, activate this, see that laser dot show up and know right where we need to be. So this is a great option both from Ruger, from laser light, and then add to that perfect mix the uh, Ojai holster from Crossbreed and stick it in my bag. And that is my everyday carry. Week seven's been great. The tour is going great. We're going to see some more footage here from some other people. I'll see you in the next update. Hey folks, Mike C. Kleiner here with the uh, Personal Defense Network Tour. I want to talk to you a little bit about what I do and what I'm going to be doing this summer and hopefully catch you in a class. Uh, I'm here at the U.S. Shooting Academy where I'm the president and the director of training. Uh, I run all of the classes here as well as develop the curriculum with some great instructors here at USSA. Uh, we offer a variety of things, defensive training, competition training. We also have a unique thing called training group, which is a new thing to the firearms community. Um, and it's somewhat similar to a martial arts dojo in that you can show up uh, five or six days a week and take multiple sessions here at USA. So if you're local to the Tulsa area and have an interest in training, the block sessions are an hour and a half in length and they're, they're great for your learning experience because they're not long, hot or cold days and uh, they've been very successful so far. Uh, for those of you near the Missoula, Montana or 
Western States. I'm going to be in uh, Missoula in June of this year, next month, teaching two classes, defensive rifle and defensive handgun. And uh, along with the, the drills and skills portion of the, the, the classes, I'm going to teach you how to train, which is something that you may not, may not get in some other classes. So a combination of technique and how to train that technique, I think, is critical for your skill development. So I hope, you can, hope I catch you in one of those classes. Uh, Alaska right after that. I'll be up in Fairbanks, Alaska for another defensive handgun class and uh, obviously here at USSA in July for a tactical handgun class. So hope, hope to see you out there somewhere. Uh, I regularly contribute to the PDN. I think that's one of the best sources of information on the web that you can possibly find. Uh, unbiased information from great instructors. So if you haven't been on the PDN lately, I, I recommend you check out those articles and uh, videos. And I hope to meet you or see you in class someday. Take care.